Welcome back. Joining us in the studio today is the president and CEO of KLN Publishing, LLC. He's here to talk to us about job seeking and some, give us some tips and tell us about how social networking can help people find a job. He uses LinkedIn to create events for professionals seeking to network and create business opportunities. And here to tell us more about it is Kevin Nichols. Thanks for coming on in, Kevin. Thank you for having me. Let's start right off by telling people what is the name of your networking group and how can they get involved? Well, it's the Downtown San Francisco Networking Group, and it's based here in the San Francisco Financial District. And to get on, you get on LinkedIn, and mm -hmm. then how do you search for it or find it? You can go to groups and search for it through the name, or you can go to Google and probably pull it up there. And this mm -hmm. came at the perfect time. You said you started a couple years ago. Mm -hmm. it's, a, it's always great for professionals to network for business reasons, mm -hmm. but then you were starting to find that a lot of your members were becoming unemployed and needed more, needed more support. Correct. And what does it give them? So basically, what we do is we meet once a month to get together to discuss business opportunities, whether it's people are looking for jobs to hire or to apply for, and then we teach them how to use social networking to create those opportunities. And you have about a thousand members. Correct. And it's not just a one-way street where you can come and get things. You actually contribute back. So there's an energy of, you know, oh, I can introduce you to so-and-so, or here's, you know, how to write a really great resume. And you're Correct. seeing this organically happen within your group? Correct, yes. Well, we recently, this past week, had a career mentorship symposium where, at Golden Gate University where we did nothing but resume writing tips, interviewing skills, and social networking as the main focus to help people. Now, I've been covering so many job fairs and, you know, that you're uploading your resume and you never hear back. What does social networking do? And maybe give us one example. Well, social networking allows you to send that resume out and actually be able to network with the hiring manager who has that order open and find out whether or not it was received, find out whether or not they are moving forward, and if not, some of the reasons why they mm -hmm. aren't, so that you can use that information for your next opportunity. I recently, I'm not very good at Facebook, but I recently changed all my groups and because and, I have like a colleague group, a high school group, a college group, mm -hmm. and I'm realizing that it's okay, it's appropriate, and it's okay mm -hmm. to actually do the professional networking on Facebook. It's not taboo, right? People don't get right. annoyed at you, they expect it. Correct. Uh, Facebook, I would say, was in the middle of the road. LinkedIn is far more professional, mm -hmm. and then I think Twitter is I'm still haven't quite figured out exactly <laughs> what, what I would use I just use don't want to bother people or annoy them, but you better believe me when I, if I need a job in the right. future, mm -hmm. I will use those mm -hmm. because people ask me for advice and for, you know, sending pitches and stuff using social media. At first, I didn't quite know, you know, how to accept it. And then as I saw kind of organically the discussions, now I get it. And it's mm -hmm. a very powerful tool if you don't abuse it. You kind of have Correct. to know how to use it, right? Correct. And that's what you teach them? Well, that's what I've learned over the years, you know, uh, the do's and don'ts, if you will. And that's what I've been writing about. I've published a number of articles on how to use these things so that people can uh, utilize their network and uh, make it work for them, but not annoy people or, you know, make people upset. And we'll provide folks with the link, but mm -hmm. is it basically Downtown SF Networking Group? That's your blog as well as a resource page Correct. to how to join. Mm -hmm. Well, I think you're really onto something. Do you think you'll grow this into a bigger group, you know, as a recession starts to <clears throat> create more jobs here, kind of wane and... Not really. I mean, I don't believe that that's actually my focus, but because there are so many people that are affected right now that it's something that we can't ignore, so... Right. That's mm -hmm. great. Appealing to the needs of your members is really important. Well, I'm going to tell people how to uh, get in touch with you. Okay. Thank you so much for being here. We'll see you You're again, welcome. I'm sure. Mm -hmm. All right. Kevin Nichols is his name. And to learn more about him, go to cbs5.com slash Sunday, And then click on Show Information and then click on SF LinkedIn Networking Group. And that is it for this edition of Bay Sunday. Thanks for joining us and have a great week. Bye.